over the last six months, 12 months, 18 months, I've noticed something within this hobby. There's been a growth of mystery bags. But the question is, are these worth it? There's only one way to find out, so that's what I did. Whilst at the Warrington Model Railway Exhibition, I visited the Sawyer's Model Stand and bought their £10 mystery bag. This is the story of what I found and whether I would recommend you get one as well. Okay, let's get this thing open. Just open like that. First things first, just camera it. It's mere light grey, acrylic paint, useful. Some oil drums from Pika, another useful little detail. There's a fair few in that pack there. And I'll pull this out. Oh, it's, a it's an oil pen, I think. Engage Master. Yeah, precision lubricator. That's awfully useful because at the moment I use a cocktail stick and some pico oil, so that'll be useful. An advert for Sawyer's models. I imagine that's free, to be fair. Some lol ratio. Fencing, useful, uh, an Oxford Rail August to January 23 release program, um, they're very little use to me, uh, I don't often buy die cast vehicles, I got, I got given a boatload when I was younger so I don't really use them too, I don't, the ones I've got I'll do bits of work to to suit the purpose. Let's see, uh, Metcalf. Yeah, this is a uh, catalogue of some kind. Just see if there's anything. No. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't think that would have a price on it usually. So I'll pop that with the stuff I imagine is free. Let's get the last couple of bits. Uh, model railway thing in Lee, which is quite interesting. Something about a railway show in Manchester. Uh, and the Leyland Festival. And there's one last thing. A little wagon, which is quite useful. Oh, it's even a mainline one. I thought these were Hornby. Mainline, so what would become the initial uh, Batman releases. Alison Everard Limited. Hmm, that's quite interesting. What I'll do is I'll do some research and I'll see how much all this has come to. Here are the contents of my Sawyer's Models £10 bag. Altogether, it comes to £20.20, which means, technically, man's made £10.20. And I've got some really useful bits, either for somebody who's relatively in the swing of the hobby again now, uh, having taken a couple of months off. Um, all of this is very useful. The fencing's going to go into my spares box, as are the oil drums. The paint's going to go into my little paint stash. Useful. Light grey is forever a useful colour. It gets used in so many things. Railways, aviation, loads of stuff. Loads of stuff you can never have enough. And it's a different shade to what I've got before. So it'll add to that tonal variation. The uh, lubricator is going to help me look after my fleet a little bit better than I do at the moment. Because that just involves some pico oil. And a cocktail stick used sparingly across the models. When I come to service them, which I don't do often enough. And lastly, the wagon. Uh, not something I'd usually buy, um, especially as I do do a colliery four planks, four or five planks aren't that useful to me. Um, but I've got an idea for this one, but I'm going to keep that under wraps as I think I'm going to turn it into another video. So I guess the question that I set out to answer in this video is, are mystery bags worth it? And I can hand on heart say, the Soyuz Models bag that I bought at the Warrington Exhibition was worth £10. It was worth the risk. I've got some new projects, I've got some new detailing parts, and I've got something that's going to help me look after my fleet and hopefully help them run just as well as they were when they were new. Who would I recommend this for? I'd recommend it to everybody. I'd recommend it to newbies in the hobby because it's a cheap way of getting yourself some detailing parts, some paint, a bit of rolling stock, and in my case, the uh, modelling tool as well. And also, 
uh, suggest it to more experienced modelers uh, as you can always use more spares and if you do get a bit of rolling stock it might spark another project in your mind which I've only set eyes on this for about five minutes and I've already got an idea for what I want to do with it. So yeah, in short, the mystery bags, worth a shot, worth a shot. As I say, this was only the £10 one. Uh, there, is, there was a £15 and £20 one, but I didn't really want to spend that much money. So the £10 one it was. It just goes to show that even though £10 doesn't get you much traditionally in the hobby anymore, it does get you all of this in a mystery bag. If you liked the video, let me know in the comment section below. If you didn't like it, let me know. And if you've ever had one of these bags, let me know what you found in it and how much you bought, for, bought it for. Because this is something that I'm seeing becoming increasingly common, as I've previously mentioned. So, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you ever so much for watching.